Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Veterans Day to each and every one of you, to your families, those who are in who or who have been in, of service. I'm very, very, very grateful for each and every one of you for protecting uh, this country and protecting our right to, well, be able to go ahead and do amazing things such as using Instagram and taking live videos. So, uh, again, I hope each and every one of you are having a amazing Friday. And I must say, just looking back at this whole week, it's been absolutely crazy. Now, what I mean by that is, of course, I was a part of the brand famous uh, boot camp by Jennifer Gottlieb and Chris Winfield. And trust me when I say that I've learned a whole lot as far as more than I actually knew that I needed. I mean, of course, taking live videos as this as still weird and uncomfortable and really just a new thing is so, again, very much here. We're still doing it, thankfully. But, you know, that's still very much a new thing. And I'm trying different things and experimenting, see how a lot of this stuff goes. But there's also other things that I can and will be using moving forward that's going to go ahead and help do what I need to do to be successful. And, you know, I'd like to go ahead and share some of my thoughts with you. Now, one of the things that uh, was very important for me is just understanding that being able to celebrate yourself with the small victories that you have. So, you know, for example, I've been able to go ahead and put together a couple more videos for my beginner's guide to Forex trading to financial investing. And if you'd like to go ahead and see those, I have a couple of particular Instagram posts tagged down and you can also go ahead and check them out on my YouTube channel. All you got to do is go into youtube.com, search World Changing Podcast, and you'll be right there able to see. But more importantly, being able to celebrate those wins is super important because what you are doing when you celebrate those wins for yourself is you allow them to go ahead and get the what I like to call the unsatisfied feeling and be able to strive for more wins. Now, of course, we don't want to do this uh, when, you know, we're what I like to call, we don't want to sacrifice our well-being. I've talked about 110%ism already. And there's a, a particular video that you can look at that talk, goes into more detail about that. But we certainly don't want to necessarily sacrifice our well-being you know self-care is important and we do want to go ahead and make sure we're doing all that in practice but taking the time to not only understand hey you celebrated something you can go ahead then and achieve the next step on your journey with a lot more comp confidence and a lot more comfortability within yourself that you can go ahead and achieve that goal now one of the other things that I was able to finally do on uh, Instagram, which I will go ahead and celebrate myself, is the fact that I was able to figure out and use what's called a Instagram hashtag. I'd never done this before, had no idea what, the, what this was until I went ahead and I mentioned this also on a previous Instagram post. Actually, Instagram post, I believe I posted about uh, 20, 30 minutes ago, where um, one of my coaches on the mastermind group that I'm a part of, Brandy Nelson, essentially reinforced the idea that I have to go ahead and expand myself, expand my brand. And this is to a lot of people that are looking to build a business brand too. In order to expand your audience, you want to use the power of, hashtag, of uh, Instagram hashtags so that you can attract more of the people, more of the ideal dot that you're looking for. And I had this particular hashtag that I have been following 
that for some odd reason I was never necessarily using up until this point and being able to figure out how that worked and being able to go ahead and get that done. My first post being able to use Instagram hashtag, I will celebrate myself. Yes, that does seem like a very small step in the grand scheme of things, but it's big for me in the sense that I did something for the first time and I was able to be successful at it. You know, I was able to be comfortable with using hashtags. I realized, oh, it's not as complicated or as much of a giant as I made it out to be. And so being able to do that now is going to allow me to keep doing that in the future. And I think that's really a main talking point I want to talk about is just completing those steps for the first time, being able to do something for the first time, just attempting it, whether it's successful or not, and having the confidence to know you can go ahead and continue to do that in the future. Because as you start to develop your own life path, and you know, we all have our different life paths, our different goals, our different dreams, and being able to do that being able to be successful at it is going to take an ounce of courage when we're doing something new. Whenever we do something new, it doesn't matter what it is, but whenever we do something new, it is uncomfortable because we've never done it before, because it is our first time doing something. And we get that little ounce of fear that... Is it going to work out? Are you going to be successful at it? Am I making a a mistake or something like that? But going back now to, I alluded to this earlier, the brand famous boot camp, Jennifer Gottlieb taught me something that is very powerful. You know, I've talked about courage before, and courage is essentially being afraid of something, but doing it anyway. But now I have a new perspective on fear along with being courageous. And it's as if you're uh, driving, right? Let's pretend you're driving and you're driving out towards your dreams, your vision, whatever it is, mind you. What we want to do with fear is we want to go ahead and pretend that fear is, uh, let's pretend, for example, uh, this, no, the other way, Uh, this pillow right here, this pillow right here is my passenger seat. And on this passenger feet, yeah, passenger seat. Let's pretend that that's fear right there, the sweater. Let's pre- so this sweater right here is fear. And the sweater is telling me, hey, you know you're going to mess up, right? You know you're not going to do it, right? And I say to the sweater, listen, shush. All right, I'm the one who's driving. All right, I don't need you to be a arm seat uh, or a sweater seat driver, if you will. And again, analogy speaking. But the idea is, is that we want to go ahead and put our arm around fear and say, hey, I know you're trying to protect me, but please keep out of what I'm trying to do and allow me to do the things that are needed in order to go ahead and help me grow. And if we all think about it, we all have things, ideas, dreams, accomplishments, what we want to go ahead and take, but there's that fear That is holding us back. Now, that fear can be almost anything, if you want to think about it. But mainly, what I I consider that there's like an umbrella of fear. And I feel like the biggest fear is, and this is just for me personally, because, you know, I've always wanted to do all these things that I'm doing right now. But I was afraid of, you know, if only it was perfect. If only I had everything done right if only I had the perfect solution to everything and so that umbrella to me whatever it is is the need to be perfect and I will go ahead and I'll say this I feel like I've been saying this but I will say this again we need to take that fear that perfectionism that each and every one of us has and we need to go ahead and we need to chuck it We need to chuck it out of the window, right? We're going to go ahead and take this fear right here. That's our passenger. That's our friend, right? So this is fear. What we need to go ahead and do is just do that to it, right? 
because it's so important that we do that. And I hope I'm making sure that uh, I captured the, the analogy right. But the idea is we need to check that fear. We want to embrace it, hold on to it. But once we got the courage in us, we need to go ahead and we need to chuck that fear. And we need to go ahead and leave it alone. Now, I'm going to pick up my sweater because I don't need to get it dirty. But you get my point. And so as we take this time to celebrate the veterans, celebrate everybody that is defending our country, one thing, and again, I, I, I can't, I can only do my part to, I'm probably most likely understating the importance of all of our veterans in our lives, but think about it like this, you know, all of our veterans are put to the test and have an adrenaline rush of fear every day that they're protecting us. And I don't mean to marginalize what they're doing just to teach a lesson, mind you. But the matter of the fact remains clear. Veterans, present, former military, had to take tremendous courage in the face of fear, in the face of death, in order to protect us, in order to allow us to have the things that we have right now. So, what I say to you is, what is that fear that's as if it's death to you? And with courage, with that fear and death being your passenger seat, what can you do? in order to go ahead and knock that out of the ballpark. Because once you do that, then you realize that the world isn't as scary, that this isn't as scary as you thought it was. You can go ahead and take that uncomfortable action that's going to allow you to persist and allow you to achieve the dreams that you have for yourself. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Once again, happy Veterans Day, everybody. I hope each and every one of you have a absolutely amazing rest of your day, amazing weekend. And in closing, I want to go ahead and submit three very important statements for you. I submit to you to be great. I submit to you to be favored. And I submit to you to be the person that you desire and that you're destined to be. Thank you.